Hello, everybody. This is David Bianco. Well, today's going to be a reflection on 2022, looking at the year in review. My channel started in March of this year, and a lot has happened. So we're going to reflect on a few of those things, show you some insights, show you where the channel stands, and where we're going in 2023. That's coming up next here at the Safe and Sound Texas Audio Excursion. So 2022 will always be a special year for me because it's the year I started my YouTube channel. And I want to thank all of you who have taken the time to visit the channel, whether it's just been a few stop bys or whether you're a subscriber. Uh, if you've liked any content, I appreciate it. And for those of you who really stuck your neck out and commented, uh, I hope I was able to answer questions you had or give you feedback or just engage, which I think is really what the channel was about to me. I had basically the goal of meeting a thousand subscriber threshold by the end of this year. And I'm at 1,862 right now. So I nearly doubled that goal and I got monetized starting in August. Understand being monetized doesn't mean that you, you make a lot. That's uh, something you have to understand. It's about views and view hours uh, and, and those type of things that really matter. And uh, they come slow. I mean, I think I've uh, garnered just under $300 since uh, August. Um, yeah, that's enough to buy some albums and and, uh, and really say, well, I finally got started, but it's no way to make a living at this point. That's not the point of it. So for those of you who are budding YouTubers and creators, um, it has to be a fun hobby that you enjoy. And then if you take off and if things go great, all the better. But it's not exactly something that one can do and expect right out of the gate to just uh, be cash flushed from the experience. Over time, I'm sure it grows. But for me, this is about sharing. This is about discussing music and giving my opinion on things and getting feedback from you and interacting with you. So for those of you who have maybe not been on the channel the whole time since March 1st of 2022, I'm going to take a quick journey through and show you the evolution of the channel as it grew in 2022. Well, unfortunately, I came to find out having a channel that sometimes controversy is the thing that really sparks interest. And so when the MoFi scandal was brewing and I had gotten some wind of it about a week before Mike Esposito's video came out, uh, once his did, I pretty well thought, well, if that really is happening, here's what they were telling us all these years ago when I started buying their product in the late 1970s. So I brought that out and I showed comparisons and I showed the evolution and I guess I just caught the wave, so to speak. And so I'm listing here the videos in order of their popularity on my channel and you can see uh, many of these here at the beginning, of course, were MoFi related or they were related in the case of uh, Acoustic Sound slash Analog Productions, my visit to Chad Kasim and his team in Kansas. Uh, that was a, a great positive side, of course. Then again, looking at Michael Jackson Thriller, uh, that was an album that was involved in this debacle as well, because it was kind of the uh, straw that broke the camel's back. And if you know the story, you know why. So a lot of these were related to that. One that I especially liked a lot beyond the controversy was my artist profile of Karen Carpenter because she was very important to me in terms of her music and her voice integrity. I got hold of some audio isolation on her vocals that I put in to this video that are very impactful. Um, as I say in the video, the irony of it is her, her brother's production work sometimes was so lush that it, it even over powered some of her strong vocals. So these come out more richly when the music is peeled back some. So that's a, a great video to watch if you like Karen Carpenter. Then we got into uh, a little bit about Speaker's Corner, which is a great label out of Germany. 
and of course talking about Steely Dan's Can't Buy a Thrill and the release of their catalog that came out. So these were some of our top videos during uh, 2022. Again, anything to to relate with Chad Kasim is always going to be popular uh, because he's a great uh, person in our vinyl community. And so some of my shootouts got some great views and things of that nature. So it was a great year overall, no matter what. So 2022 ends and 2023 is around the corner. But I can't end it without saying thank you. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed or viewed videos, commented, liked, just been there. Thank you very much. And for some special people, first Steve Westman. He was the first person I really reached out to that had a growing channel in the vinyl community. And he was very open and helpful to me. Steve, thank you very much. And best of luck to you in all that you do going down the road in 2023. To Rachel of Rachel's Ghost, well, you, you know, girl, you, you really are the one who has put a lot of channels on the map. You've helped a lot of channels grow, and that's just what you do every single day. And I appreciate the fact that you've allowed me to come into your little room, your little world with the vinyl community. And to Waxed, who also is a, a co-host there, as I would say, uh, you keep things rolling. We appreciate that very much. And to those I've shared screen with there on Rachel's Ghost, Mazzy, Harry, Stunty, uh, Concert Buddy Chance, uh, Mike Esposito, Danny Boggs, uh, Patrick the Vinyl Archivist, Jason Rojas, uh, any number of you who I might not mention and forgotten, thank you for being there. Uh, to Michael Noland, who has a great channel and is a great inspiration, I appreciate so much the comments that you've made on my channel. Uh, they really are inspiring to help me Keep moving down the line because you really pump out some videos and I really do like the content. So thank you, Michael Noland. To a couple gals who are really setting it on fire, Melinda Murphy in the U.S. and Nadim at Soul Disco in Germany. Thanks for your efforts because I think we need more gals in the vinyl community and it's really good to have you. And to the VC Peanut Gallery, what I call the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know you got a job to do, so keep us on our toes. I guess that's all I can ask for. And to those who I was able to interview, I really want to say a special thanks. Chad Kasim and his team especially at Acoustic Sounds and Analog Productions, Quality Record Pressings in Salina, Kansas. What a great team. What a great set of products. Uh, you do America proud. Thank you, Chad and company. To Kai Seaman in Speaker's Corner in Germany, Thanks for all the good product you put out. And I really wish that 2023 sees that you all get some more licensing deals and reissue deals to be able to continue the heritage that you've brought to America and, and a lot of other countries with a great, reasonably priced product. To a local guy, G.I. Sanders at NTX Vinyl, who has some pop-up stores here in the area and has a great web presence and is on whatnot right now and really, really moving along. Thanks, G.I., for being an interviewee and getting on the channel and, and being such a great resource to so many who are trying to start businesses in the vinyl community. And to Doug Osbury, BigLoveVinyl.com in the Carolinas, same thing. Thanks for all you've done and for your business and hope for the best for you in 2023. Dr. Tony Shore, thanks for the interview as well. Great catching up with you on Christian Contemporary Music. We had a very uh, parallel history in some ways. Uh, didn't know each other and uh, great to get to know you. And of course... I want to thank Kathy at Cat Ranch, who had me on uh, as a guest on her channel, meeting some new folks. And to Dr. Vicki Lund, a good friend, and her Psychology Noir channel. Uh, really great to see you get started on YouTube in 2022. Look forward to what's coming next year. And so, as always, I thank you for watching. I look forward to 2023. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. See you soon. Take care, everybody.